Alright guys, welcome back to another Ray video today. In this video, I want to do a showcase for one of the channels that I actually made a video of before, long time ago. But today, one of my viewers reached out to me and recommended me to give, give this champion a try. All right, that is Godfrey. I actually see this champion being used a lot by some, some Platinum Arena players. I thought, like I saw someone put this champion on their defense. I thought this is a joke. Right, but it turns out this champion actually has his own place. There is a meaning behind why people put this type of this champion on their offense team or defense team. Alright, so the viewer sending me this message. I think I already gave him a shout out, which is the this Korean dude. Uh he, he's a very, very smart player. 214 subscribers. Uh, I think he sent me the first Chagger video on San Devil's Necropolis. Alright, so for this, go for it. Basically, if you guys don't know, like Georgia is a super super popular arena champion right now, right? Look at this review, very very good, like top 3 void nuker in the game. And uh, he is known as his A3, ignore stone skin. And if you put Goffrey on your team, right, he is going to counter that skill so hard. Because Goffrey, uh, I believe Goffrey, sorry. I believe George is A3. This is like three turns or four turns cooldown. Okay, so this is three turns cooldown. But even if it's three turns, you pretty much only get to use it once, right? Uh you like if there there are people using Georgia to attack you and you have a golfer on your team, like this is gonna help you survive that one shot. This is going to help you survive that one shot. And I think like it also works against champion like Rodos. It's just gonna place block debuff on you. Alright, and this champion used to be a guaranteed ancient shard event, I believe. If I remember correct, it was like 150 ancient shards for this champion. Early 2022, alright, it's already 2023. Early 2022 will have a guaranteed event for this champion. And the, the rest of his skill kit is also really good, to be honest. Like A1, decrease defense and provoke, solid enough. A2, AoE stun, straight up, AoE stun. A3, increase defense and remove, decrease defense, weaken. Well, interesting enough, right? Mostly we just want this part, right? And the passive is also really good. Like, if the allies attack on their block damage, the enemy is gonna get stunned. 100% chance, if you have enough accuracy. So, uh, also, what I did a lot of video showcasing Cubitus and Venus. Right? And every time I was showcasing Cubitus and Venus, I was using Necrit to protect Cubitus. And then I, I was testing this champion. I feel like if you don't have a Necrit and you really want to give Cubitus Venus team a try, this might be a good choice because it can protect your Cubitus. It will guarantee your Cubitus to survive for one turn, right? It's only one turn block damage, but I mean, it's gonna proc if your Cupidus receive fatal damage, and usually people build their Cupidus really slow. That's how Gothrit is gonna protect Cupidus, not getting one shot. So this is like, obviously if we compare Gothrit to Necrit in a Cupidus Venus team, Necrit is just better, but I'm just saying, like if you don't have Necrit, and you want to try Cupidus team, use this champion, it will work. All right, I'm gonna showcase him in this video. Actually, like these two champions look so similar. I'm just comparing their icon, right? Gongjar and Gofred, <laughs> their icon is so similar. Okay, so, by the way, Gongjar is a complete garbage. Complete garbage, Doom Tower champion. All right, back to the topic, Gofred. Uh, I made a video before, last year, uh, when we had the guarantee event. I built the champion super fast, speed tune with, your, with my Arbiter, and give him high accuracy to basically build him like a AoE stun champion to be follow up with your super fast champion. But this time, I changed his gear to stone skin. Change to stone skin, decent speed, 230, no need to be super fast. You still want to give him decent accuracy. Don't have to push too high because like this type of accuracy going against someone that didn't build accuracy, uh, didn't build resistance at all. This is gonna be fine. And if you're going against a resistance, this is obviously not gonna work. So you don't have to like push push accuracy like a Madam series. It's not necessary. For mastery, just go with Eagle Eye because 
the rest of the tier 6 mastery are, are useless. Alright, so that's basically it. Let's get into, let's get into arena. Uh, okay, straight up, we have a Georgia team. Right? Wait. But he also put a golf right here. So, like I said, this dude is already like super, super popular right now. Oh, this is Smiley, by the way. Okay, so this is Smiley. Very interesting. Two star on uh, Georgit. So, let's see this. I'm just gonna use a Cubitus of Venus team. Alright. I don't have a Necret. That's how. Uh, right. why, is, uh, why is Alva here? I guess I was just testing Alva. To go with this team, uh, let's just do this, alright. Let's strip them. Didn't really do anything. Let's do the AoE stun. Okay, that's nice. Like, they need to take a turn. Otherwise, it's not gonna be useful. Alright, let me kill the golfer here. Can't one-shot him. See? Block damage proc. Let's put decrease defense. I have immunity buff. All right, so let's keep it going. Yeah, he also removes decrease defense. That's very interesting. All right, so is that more Macau gonna one shot me? Probably not because I have perfect veil here. That is from Alva, I believe. On the passive, right? Yep, yeah, that's from Alva. Perfect fail. I cannot revive anybody. Alright, so a little bit of long fight. It should be consistent. Let's just put decrease defense. I have perfect veil, so he can't really target me. Alright, that's it. Look at this damage. My Cubis, um, I don't have any like ascended gear on my Cubis, so he might not be that strong compared to other Cubis. Like look at how many people are using Golfer right now. Right, look at how many people are using golf red. Uh, so, unfortunately, I think this is kind of shitty team. <laughs> so, unfortunately, okay, so let's see. Like, since I'm, I don't have a necrod, like I want to use someone that can give me immunity buff. That's why I'm, I'm bringing. Uh, I'm bringing a, a Elva. Okay, my Venus got... No, come on. Alright. <laughs> Look at this. Alright, so let's do the AoE stun. Wait, none? Like, zero enemy got stunned? Alright, that's not good. Alright, that's not good. Alright, so... Uh, maybe I don't need Elva here. I just losing to, the, to a very shitty team. This is this is super embarrassing, All right? Mm, all right, what we're gonna do here is if we just go for the easy way out, <laughs> I guess just put their skill cooldown. That's the easy way out. You know, <laughs> don't have to worry about that. <laughs> and that's it. They can't really do anything, right? One hit, and the the block damage proc, and I'm going to remove it. And she's shipped again. Wow. Okay. So, why am I stunned? Okay, so, because if I hit him, I I'm stunned. Alright, I, I will be stunned. Let's stun them as well. Do this. Yeah, my Cubitus is super slow. I kill this Leoris. That's... 100% a counter attack accessory. Okay, provoke doesn't matter. Like my damage comes from counter attack anyways, so I don't really care about provoke. Okay, decrease defense attack. That's bad. That one is bad. All right. Okay, the block damage proc on my Venus. Let me just put on auto. See, like, this dude is actually quite good. Look at this provoke, right? Yeah, that's it. One hit. Um, so... I don't think I can beat this one with Godfred. We can give it a try, but definitely not using Cupid's Venus team. 
I gotta ha I have to use a stronger team, much stronger team. So let's use this with. Alright, what should I do here? Let's just go like. Let's use also use a better pay to win team. Let's go like this. See what happens here. Godfrey is gonna prevent me getting one shot. All right. Uh, can I kill CV here? Yep, one shot. One of the world's strongest Rodos here. All right. I used to say world's strongest, but right now I I say um one of the world's strongest. All right. All right, passive frog. Let's kill Mithrala. This is probably world's strongest more macab here. Because I got crazy like gear ascension luck with my Mortimer cap. Like this baseline Mortimer cap has like plus 280% crit damage in a six pieces stone skin. It's crazy gear luck. Alright, it's easy one. Like a lot of people underestimate the power of Mortimer cap on arena offense. The Mortimer cap on arena offense is super super good. Alright. Wow, people in my clan already have this this duel here. Very interesting. So So let's see if if I'm gonna get one shot by this duel. Keras and Matraka, Marichka, I believe that's the name. So they put my skill cooldown. And I already got one shot. Alright, <laughs> see if he already blocked his um block damage here. And my skill is on cooldown. Wait, he used it twice? It's fine, let's keep going. It's fine, let's keep it going. I gotta wait until the stone skin is gone. I don't have a buff drip here. My stone skin is gone. Let's do this. All right, let's do the increased defense. I shouldn't get one shot, right? He's gonna do the big AOE. All right, let's kill Yumiko here. Not enough damage. What? Wow, that's a lot of damage. All right, I admit that's a lot of damage on Terrace. Come on, passive proc. Goodbye, Duchess. All right, so let's kill Yumiko. I kill Yumiko here. Oh no. Alright, at least his skill is on cooldown, right? Why did he get to use his A2 again? <laughs> okay, this team is super OP. Alright, this team is super OP. Look at that that dude's damage. Terrace. Alright, this this is terrifying. I, I'm gonna dodge him. Not to make myself look too bad. But another one. How can we win this then? Uh, let's go back to Cubitus and Venus team. I wanna, I wanna give Cubitus Venus team another try. Just showcasing Godfred pairing with Cubitus and Venus. All right. So where's my Venus here? And let's go with the easy way out using the Warlord. Just put their skill cooldown. All right. Like I didn't give Cubitus very good gear. Because like, I feel like nowadays not many people are using, uh, using Cubitus. That's why I didn't give him re very good gear. Wait, one hit and he's passive proc. That's not good. Oof, Cubitus still does a lot of damage. Oof. Don't die. Don't die yet, please. Don't die. I right, see if he's gonna revive. See if he revived the wrong target. That's interesting. Uh, let's do a two. Okay. Oh shit! This is gonna take forever. My Cubitus is dead. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. 
Oh no. Can I like can I actually win this though? I don't have damage, the problem is. This is a resistance marichka. I don't have damage. I provoke. A provoke. Let me just run it for like half minute, 30 seconds. No, no, I don't think I'm winning this. Marichka has healing. I can't. I can't win this. Marichka has healing. So yeah, this video just show you guys like how OP this duo works together, right? It's really OP. So yeah, let me try to find some less OP team, right? Some less OP team. Can I go against this one though? This one seems less OP because Terra is not going with Marishka. This dude is kind of insane. One more time, one more time. Uh, let's strip the buff. See if I can hit stun. Nice. Let's do this. I'm gonna put an increased attack here. One hit. Necro is dead. That's how strong Cubitus is. Okay, let's do this. Alright, let's have the Necrit passive proc and just do a showcase to... Wait, Necrit's dead? <laughs> this one's too easy. Okay, should be an easy win here. Still, I, f I feel like if you want to go with Cubit's team, Necro is just 100% stronger. 100% stronger. Right, but like if you're going without uh, Cubit's, Cubit's Venus team, you could use Godfrey in offense, especially against Georgia. But right now, I don't see a lot of Georgia here. I feel like I'm seeing more Godfrey on defense than, than Georgia. <laughs> For real. Okay, so yeah, maybe let's let's do one last battle here. I'm trying to find some like super strong single target damage dealer so I can showcase her uh showcase his passive. Seventy K power team. Should we give it a try? Let's give it a try. Alright, let's give it a try. I'm gonna use some rotos here. It's not gonna be I also have to use a pay to win team, otherwise I'm not winning this, right? So, 7k power team, what am I, what am I gonna do here? So, super high resistance I assume, let's use a Yoshi, Yoshi and for the increased accuracy, or do I even need increased accuracy, to be honest? Let's not even use the increased accuracy, let's just go like this. Uh, let's go like this. This is a 705,000. 750,000. K okay, team power team. Alright, let's see if I can kill cardio. One hit. Alright, that's fine. Let's expect it, I should say. Let's do this first. Increase defense. Let's see if I can strip them. This. Alright, Georgia passive still not proccing yet. Can I land some stun here? His Duchess can't really do anything. Alright, this Duchess is dead. Oh, wow. Very high resistance. See if I can one shot this Duchess, alright? Boom, that's it. <laughs> the power of Rodos. That's it, I just put on auto. So, yeah, didn't really got the chance to proc the passive. Alright, now it procs. Fine, 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 fine. Look at this block damage on Rodos. That's Godfrey's passive. So, yeah, I feel like as shown in this video, you guys can see while I was re refreshing the list, right? You guys can see there are 
are actually a lot of people putting Godfrey on their defense. And I can, uh, like, I guarantee you guys, there are a lot of people use Godfrey on their offense team as well. It doesn't have to be Cupid's Venus team. It can be literally any offense team you make, right? Any offense team, um, especially against like super super strong single target damage dealer. Like, it might not work so, so well if you're going against like a Leoris defense or Baron defense because they're like super strong AOE damage. But against like insane single target DPS, you you can use golf for it. This is like guaranteed survival. Right? Block damage here. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys find it informative. And I'll see you guys in the video soon. Bye.